scientific display ever presented to the public. Camellia, the only living mermaid who has enough atomic energy in the lobes of her ears to flatten London if she allowed it to be harnessed. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the disappearing mermaid, Camellia. <laughs> As a little baby, I was found upon the seashore. They think that perhaps I've come out of the sea because I could swim like a fish long before I could walk. That is why I am called Camellia the Mermaid. My adopted father was a Russian prince who escaped from the revolution. My adopted mother was a French actress, very famous. When the war came, I escaped from the Germans to this beautiful country. And I offer my services to a professor of the Royal College of Science. Day and night, the professor experimented with me behind locked doors. After six months of hard work, he discovers the amount of atomic energy in the female figure is much more highly concentrated than in the male. What you will now be privileged to see is the result of jealously guarded secrets entrusted to me by the leading atom bomb scientists of the United States and Great Britain. <laughs> If two gentlemen will kindly step upon the stage, they will have the privilege of handcuffing Mademoiselle Camellia. Now, come along, gentlemen, come along. Don't be bashful. How about you, sir? Come along, sir. The wife won't mind. <laughs> ah, here's a gentleman who's keenly interested in science. <clears throat> That's right, sir. This way. Now then, one more gentleman. Come along, gentlemen, come along. We don't want to give Mademoiselle Camellia a bad impression. Here. You down there in the shilling, sir. What's up with you? The young lady won't mind, will you, miss? No. That's right. You've got the reputation of the town to keep up, hasn't he, miss? Oh, all right. Good. Ah, then, sir, perhaps you'd like to test these chains and pass along to the other side of the stage. Thank you so much. Now then, sir, allow me to help you, will you? Thank oh. you, mind the step, sir. Now then, perhaps you'd like to test these chains, sir. <laughs> Ah, you see, ladies and gentlemen, a strong man. Okay, sir? Nothing phony about those? No. Now, would you like to chain the lady's wrist, sir? And you, ladies' ankles. Ah, I knew that was what he was waiting for. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we shall require two more volunteers from the audience. Come along, gentlemen, come along. Don't be shy. Ah, thank you, sir. Would you mind coming up on the stage, sir? Now, will you take your position there, sir? And you, sir? Here, sir. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, Camellia, the atomic mermaid, is now chained hand and foot and is utterly unable to move. The gentleman will raise her and place her in the biggest glass tank filled with real water ever presented to the public. Now, gentlemen, don't be afraid of hurting her. Now, up we go. Ha -ha! Would you mind assisting me with the lid, sir? <sighs> Thank you. Excuse me, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mademoiselle Camellia will break the chains by releasing the atomic energy in her kneecaps and escape from the tank by deatomizing herself. Hold tight, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Be careful, or the vibrations of the electrons will affect your eardrums. <laughs> Aha! And now, ladies.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mademoiselle Camellia has kindly consented to reward one of the gentlemen who assisted her in the true French manner. <laughs> Not you, chum, you at it. <laughs> <laughs>